Well, hello there, chums. So I'm continuing on with my journey inside of Nightingale. So let's go and hit this up, shall we? And let's uh, jump on back on in. So Puck asked me to enter into the um, byway. It looks like I've got to re-eat my berries, though. So let's do that quickly. There we are. We're all buried up. Oh, looks like we've got to return to Puck again. So I didn't save it exactly where I'd got to. So here we go. You've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. I guess I did. In scent, your meal was no summer court banquet, but at least you persist. Sweet. I do indeed. Yes, next, next. Okay. Well, I'm back. Pick we must own. carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. Okay, sounds good to me, mate. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Brilliant! We're off to the withering sands, people. And there he goes. Look at him. Oh, dancing the freaking lovely thing. Whatever. Okay, right. So, we've got to locate this portal. That looks like a portal over there. You see that giant arch? That looks like a portal, if I ever did see one. We'll grab a bush on the way. Hiya! You're mine, bush. You're coming with me on an adventure. Hiya! Tally ho and tally on. Cool. Yes, you may have noticed I've turned off my webcam, people. Because it was out of lip sync anyway, so, you know, why the fudge not? Might as well turn it off. You'll see me at the end of the video, though. Okay, so now we're going to be putting in the desert card. Yes, please. I put, oh, fudge, where'd that go? Oh, okay. Is it in there? I think it is. Alright. There we are. Brilliant. Open portal. Ha-ha! There we go. Look at that. Huzzah! We're going in. We're going in. I guess we are. I don't know whether I'm actually dressed for a desert. We'll worry about that when we get there, people. Zoom! And I'm in. Right, let's hit continue journey. Brilliant. Okay. And we're being rendered in. There I am! Looking glorious. Oh, what a lovely biome this is. Now, I'd imagine there's not going to be so much water, but... We don't really need water for crafting very much, do we? All right, anyway, let's go talk to Puck. Hello, mate. Summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours. Right. Yet I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. This heat devours spirit and life alike. Great, I don't want to be here then. How be it? Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Right, I'd rather not. Send me back to somewhere that's more idyllic, please. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Great! Thanks Best for bringing to me here. Best your nesting prowess and avoid exhaustion while I scour for the next byway. You do that, I'll do what I've got to do then. Nice. No, no, sounds like fun brought me here for a bit of torture have you great okay all right fine uh right build a stick tent well if i need to build a stick tent i'll imagine i'm gonna need some sticks are you sticks no i think these are sticks there's some sticks they're more like twigs though aren't they okay i'll so go grab some more sticks over here i better be quite quick because i can i can see night time is approaching or i need to sleep one or the other okay Build then. Let's go to build. Let's see if I can build myself a wrong button. Um, let's see if I can build a stick tent. There's a stick tent right there. Okay, place. Let's just place it right in the shade of this rock, shall we? It's not exactly shady at the moment, but it might be one day. There we go. We'll, we'll stick that there then. Have I, have I placed it? I have. Okay, that, that's the blueprint. Okay, so let's go over. Let's hold X. Add auto add resources. There we go. We need plant fibre now. Okay, you plant fibre. That looked like plant fibre. That gave me seed cape, flower cape and aloe. It didn't give me any plant fibre, I don't think. How about you? You can give me some plant fibre. That gave me sticks and crude four. Alright. Well, I'm going to grab some more because that's all I'm blinking seeing. That's giving me loads of sticks. So where the fudge do I get plant fibre from? Uh-oh. 
they look like baddies. But there's some flowers over by them, so I'm going to risk it. Don't hurt me, stick people. Oh no, it's super hot over here. Don't hurt me, please. I'm, I'm just a wanderer in need of plant fibre. I only want to ravage some plants. Okay, you look like a plant. That's giving me sticks. That's giving me something else. Oh, for fudge's sake. Those things don't sound very happy with me being here. I've collected everything in this world. And I'm not getting any... Pl what are you, mate? Oh, you're lovely, aren't you? Always moving rocks around. Why? Can I talk to him? Hello? Hello, mate. Oh, they're lovely. I don't know what they do. They don't seem to be bothered about me. All right, how about plant... Are you plant fibre? Be plant fibre. Go on. Flower. Okay. Right, well, I've, I've collected everything I can bloody see. Hold on. There's some yellow plants down here. Let's go get that. You plant fibre. Flower marigold. Oh, come on. Half of this has got to count as being plant fibre. Have I got to craft plant fibre? Throw me a frickin' bone. Okay, let's head back to the old tent. I don't know whether I can find my old tent. I've, I've gone off on a frickin' jaunt, people. I can't remember my way back because I'm an imbecile. But then again, I would have expected the, the building structure that I put to appear on my little radial chart at the top of the old screen, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. Yeah, so I discovered that my um, PC probably wasn't good enough to... Um, have my webcam on at the same time as me capturing footage people because yeah the lip sync was out massively i had one or two comments about it which made me think well if people aren't happy with it maybe i should just hold on how did i build that okay i guess i had plant fiber all along brilliant so okay let's get in here then there we are mission accomplished build a sheltered bedroll oh well hopefully all that collecting i've done is has done me a favour then, people. That's, um... There's my bedroll, I guess. Place. I do like this sort of little blueprinty system. How do I rotate it? Ah, oh, like that. Yes, we'll stick it... We'll stick it there. Okay. And X. And auto add resources. Yeah, do it. Oh, no, I need more plant fibre. And I don't even know how I got plant fibre in the first place. I just... Ravished a load of bushes at random. Ravish! Ravish! And ravish some more! Ah! One of these is probably giving me plant fibre, and I don't know which one, because it's not telling me in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen there. It just says that, you know, I'm picking up sticks and stuff. It doesn't say plant fibre. I can only imagine that the things actually contain plant fibre are amongst all these people. Let's, let's go back in. Let's see if that worked, then. Just by some miraculous miracle. There we go. I wish you could just say yeah. I, 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 this whole holding and... I, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Alright. Well. Okay. Sticks. Are you going to tell me what plant fibre is uh, so I'm not just running around grabbing random things? Okay. All right. We'll just go around grabbing random things again. Just hope that some of it contains plant fibre. See, that says aloe and cape aloe. It might have been one of those yellow flowers that I found from over on yonder. We'll go all the way back over, over on yonder and just grab some more random stuff and just hope that amongst it was some plant fibre. All right, yeah, let's go do that then. Fun times. So I would say that this game is going to be a lot more fun if it actually get. You see, like how this is like um, it showed me that wispy thing there. If they actually marked what you're after with that white wispy stuff, or gave us some, so you at least you know that you've managed to do it. You know. I mean, what's telling me right now that I've managed to get plant fibre into my inventory? Nothing. Nothing. Um, 
Am I asking for my hand to be held too much? I got. Oh, I'm looking at the the bottom right corner there, people. That little text that you can probably barely read. For plant fibre. Oh, there we go. I just got two plus plant fibre. Well, what the fudge gave me that? It came up after I collected it, and I collected something else. Flower and marrow gold. Let's just keep going. Sticks crude. Plant fibre. That was that. Whatever that was that I just pinched. Plant fibre. Ah, it's these fluffy things. All right, okay, there you go, people. That's how you find plant fibre. I'm going to get a freaking shed ton of it while I'm here. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Yeah, I don't care if it's slightly damp. We're having it all. Having all this plant fibre. There we go. There we are, people. We found plant fibre. Let's head back to base if I can find it. So, up here. Round the back of that, I think. Oh, my days. Look, my food... My, my um... My food bar is... I'm, I'm getting hungry, people. I'm getting hungry. And looks like I definitely need to rest very soon. Um, you see, I'm not really overly into managing bars like you know, heat, exhaustion, food, all that sort of stuff. Yes, I like survival games, but I like the nice, simple ones, you know? I don't really like the ones that are over-engineered. I find it hard looking after myself in real life. There we go. If your rest drops too low, you begin to lose max stamina. Okay. Okay. Right. Fine. Yes. Rest and comfort. Some medias such as light, heat, furniture increase comfort level. Higher comfort levels adds to the varying levels of bonuses to your health and stamina. I guess it's going to be harder in the start and it's going to get better as we go on, people, isn't it? It's just, do I, you know, okay. Okay. Short rest, long rest. I'm going to go for long rest. There we are. Oh, apparently I can't. Right, we'll go for, um... Short rest then. Just have I rested? Where's the animations to let me know if I've rested? Oh, here we go. There's things that popped up. But to see him lay down, maybe it's a play to black and come back, just to signify that I've actually done something would be interesting. Okay, right. Craft. Oh my god. What? Have I, what? A, craft makeshift wood axe. Craft makeshift mining pick. Okay, here we go. Let's just do that then. How? How do I do that? Um. Ah, here we go. It's under the... No, it's not. Crafting basics and repair. Campfire. Well, do I do I do this at the campfire? That doesn't make sense, does it? I, I think I need some sort of crafting bench, surely. Hold on, let's go into craft... Okay, here we go. Crafting, there we are. Make makeshift hunting knife. Yes, that's on the menu. How do I make that then? Yes, I want to make it right now. Craft, please. Oh, I've crafted one. Okay, that, that's okay. We craft that as well. Makeshift mining axe, yes. Makeshift sickle, why not? A makeshift torch, is that on the list? Yes, I need that too. And a makeshift wood axe. I think I've done all of them. Brilliant, I have. By using tools, you can harvest better resources with special qualities from the realm. Craft higher level tools to harvest from higher level resources. So I guess I can craft all that in hand. I don't need a crafting bench. Nice, okay. Each tool has certain damage types. Cool. Creatures have varying weaknesses and resistance to damage types. Okay. Alright. And they're all in my off hand. So how do I cycle through those? Oh, okay, yes. Very nice. Okay, we've got this. Let's go use this quickly on that. Yes. <coughs> oh, I got wood bundles. Ah! Oh, we got some lovely music. Oh, hello. Hello, Puck. Yes, you've caught me in my lovely dwelling. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still... I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. Well, thank you for admiring my talents, even though you've belittled them to the frickin' the moon and back. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... well... We shan't ruin the surprise. I do like surprises. Have you got me a cake or something? Let us depart and speak of your ill-favoured constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire, then this path of beginning shall fork unbounded 
into whatever endings you seek. Lovely. Well, I don't like the desert because it's too freaking hot and I have to worry about another bar. Alright. But what I did like about the desert is it's full of resources and creatures that didn't try to maim my face. Okay, even though my face is not the prettiest of sights. Okay, locate the realm's portal. Okay, is there a map? There is a map. Freaking lovely. And has it marked a portal on there for me? Oh, it freaking has. Great. How do I mark that as where I want to go to next then? Pan, add way marker. Okay, yes, add a way marker then. I've pressed R. Nothing happens. <laughs> Nothing's happening. I'm pressing R in. Oh, here we go. That just took a lot of clicks for no reason. And why is it drifting all over the freaking shop? Okay, right. Now can I see that on my marker at the top of the screen? No, I can't. So what was the freaking point in that? Yeah, you see the you see the compass thing at the top? It's not appearing there. Do I have to then press another button? Look, I've put a marker there because that's where I want to bloody go, right? Yeah, I want to go there. I do want to go there. Oh, I've moved, removed the marker now. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, a little, little house. I want to go there, all right? Oh, you freaking having a laugh, aren't you? All right, okay. Uh, maybe I don't use the house one then, okay? So maybe I should put the house one where I am now. Boom. And rather than have that one there, let's use one of these weld beacons instead. Stop drifting all over the shop. All right, okay, we'll put that there. Now can I see the world marker? Has it... I don't know what it's bloody done, people. I think it's put my house marker here. Yeah, it's put the house marker here now. Okay, is it just me? Or am I... Am I a complete leptard? Is something... How can I, how do I remove all of them? There's no button to remove all of them. All right, well, look, I know that it's north, north, east, south. It's northwesterly from me. Okay, so we head northwesterly, and it looks like it might be near to that pond. Let's just head that way, and let's just hope it brings up a... Oh, look, that, now it's got a marker, but not on the top bit up there, no. It just a, a, there's a bubble that floats there. All right, fine. Okay, so maybe it was just me being an imbecile and not knowing how the game works. Or expecting it to work how other games work. Well, it's not other games, Steve. It works differently. Okay, cool. And look, there it is. How did I not spot that earlier when I was over here? It's freaking massive. Look at it. Okay, it looks like we're getting our shoes wet. I do not worry about my shoes. There we go. Let's hit that up. Okay. Uh, let's put in the swamp card and then we'll put in that card as well. There we go. And open portal. Yes, please. I'm getting used to this whole opening of portals. What I'm not so used to is the offhand and on hand being the reverse way round at the bottom of the screen. And some of the actual steps of the tutorial. But then, you know, it is what it is. Let's go on in the portal. Lovely. Righto, yes, continue the journey. Looks like we're in a swamp biome now, people in the view of us. Oh, wow. Okay, w resources abound here. And you know what? I like the little splodges of water. I, I quite like swamp, actually. That's quite cool. If oh, hello, not mate. for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fey are forbidden from consorting with your kind. And while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. Yes, enough prattle and prittle and all that sort of triple drabble. The bound guard Fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. Oh, by the way, lovely. Okay, go While on. I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Prepare yourself, Realm Walker. That sounds ominous. Prepare myself for what, mate? Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. 
Okay. What's that big building over there with airships and all sorts of other shite arranged around it? There's so many points of interest that I want to go to, but I know that I must tally for inside of this. Some, yeah, tutorial. It says here, acquire bones. What? Predator. I've got to take out a predator. I can hear one. I hear my own heart beating as well, people, in my ear. Oh, fudge. Take this creature! Yeah, you're going down, mate. Why I violently swing at ye. All right, I need a knife. Okay. I think I need to eat something. Oh, fudge. Ooh, just give me the bloody mouse. Um. Okay, don't give me the mouse. Number six. Yes, eat that. Okay. Okay, and yeah, we're going to use that on him. Is that... Okay, eat some more berries, because you're obviously dying. And then let's pick this up. Can I eat any of that? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not really into all the gauges and health and all that sort of stuff. You know, I've just had some berries. I've obviously just killed something. Okay, now to change weapons. There we are. Now, because my PC isn't the best, I think I've got a slight delay when I press left and right and stuff like that. Did I actually pick up some berries? I didn't, did I? I was hoping there might be some more berry bushes here just to stave off starvation a bit longer. What are you? Hiya! Take that, you. Hold still so I can kill thee. Yes, we got him. Okay, cool. And then I need to go back to my knife. There we are. And hiya! Sorry I'm a little bit slow at this, people. There we are. We've got some meat now. Aha! Die! I killed him with a freaking knife. Did you see that, people? Freaking skills. I must say, some of these things are pretty hard to pick up. You can probably hear me tapping the button like mad. Alright, so... We've got some tears... We've got some skin and stuff. But right now, I think I need to make a little makeshift... I think I need to cook some of that meat. I'm going to make a quick campfire, people. I need rocks. All right, well, let's just put this near some rocks, maybe. Let's put it here. I think I might be able to find some rocks near here, is what I'm hoping, anyway. I don't think I've got any rocks on my person. Oh, we have. We've got three. I didn't know I even had them. Die! It's not going to give me rocks, but it's going to give me a lot of meat, and it's going to give me some bones. Alright, I need to find some rocks quickly. Here we go. How many rocks did that give me? It gave me five rocks. Good. Let's go stick those in there, then. There we are. And then I want to just light that. Can I just add... Yeah, I'm not really bothered. Whatever. Fire's fire. Just ignite it, please. And then I want to hit this. What have I done? I want to. I want to put. I want to put the meat in there. Mixed plants, roast meat, please, because it's going to go off if I don't, isn't it? Yes. Uh, Autofill. There we go. Yes, and craft. Did that do it? In progress. Twenty seconds. There we go. I kind of would like. You see where it says add resources to slots? That sort of big blank area. If there was a little animation of it cooking there or something. Or even if it just lifted and shifted that closer. You know the bit that we've got there that gives the time. If it put it next to the meat symbol. Somewhere where it's more obvious that it's actually done something. Alright. Do I have to actually collect it? Oh, I have a, oh, it's down there now. Oh, I had it in my hand a second ago. Oh, I've pressed too many times. Okay, here we go. Eat that. Yeah, eat it. No. Use the offhand. There we go. Oh my days, what just happened to me? Why did my... My hunger bar has hardly moved and my health bar for some reason just went freaking mental. I have no idea what's going on there, people. Alright, okay, let's, um, let's look for some more predators to um, slay then, I guess. 
I'm not going too far from here. Let's go back into this woodland area. Let's see if we can... Oh, you know what I should do, really? Is mark this on my map so I don't get lost. Map. I bet this is really painful for you guys to watch, isn't it? Well, trust me, it's, it's, it's equally as painful for me to play. I'll just put a hat there. There we go. That, that's 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 where my um, little tent is. All right, let's go kill stuff. I'll probably use a different weapon than that. Not that one. Is this in my offhand then? Yeah, fine. We might as well collect stuff while we're going around. I don't know where it shows my weight limit. I'm just pressing X like a crazy moron at the moment. Picking up whatever I can, yeah. I'm not seeing any bad guys. Bad guys, bad guys, where are you? Oh, there's one. Come here, you. Oh, yeah! Yes, you're going down, my friend. You're going down. I'm yelling, Timber! Okay, right, now I need to stab the heck out of him to collect all the bits. Um, this button. Yes, and that, and this, and that, and that. Okay. And we got another hide. Cool. We're now on two or three. So, oh, wrong button again. I keep doing the wrong offhand thing. Okay. Yeah, well, let's have a look around for some more of these little womp rats. That's what I'm going to call them. I don't know what they're actually really called. Did I kill him? Was that me that did that? It wasn't. Okay. Maybe wildlife kills other wildlife. That's good to see. Easy pickings for moi. We'll have that, we'll have that. Okay, we to a different weapon. Are you doing the wrong thing again? Hello? I'm not seeing any more of those crazy jumping guys. They seem to be the ones I need to slay though. Oops, or maybe I shouldn't be running around in water. I'll probably get another bar for that to look after, won't I? There's one. I think. Yes. Running attack! Oh, he freaking moved just at the last second. See that? Oh, he old still so I can murder you. I'm going to run out of stamina. Stop moving! Turn and fight me. Okay, right. There's quite a lot of them around here, actually. Oh, now I've selected the wrong weapon. And there we are. And we're going to have to stab him now. I'm trying. Can I get him in the water? I can. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, there's a bone. We've got it all. We've got it all. Right, let's head back then. I'm moving a bit slower now. Maybe, maybe you do get over encumbered, depending on what you collect. Ah, there's my, there's my little gap over there. Look, there we go. Look at that. Placing the marker on the map has really helped. Oh no. Yeah, freaking have you with my freaking knife, mate. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, got him with a freaking knife. Maybe I don't need to keep changing my weapons all the time. I just knife things. Yeah, stab him and stab stab. Just head on over this way. Lovely jubbly. Hopefully Puck is going to be pretty impressed with my prowess of taking out those giant freaking mutant kangaroos. Jabberwockies or whatever they are. Um, yeah, I'm going to cook some more meat, I think. So I need to... Yeah, we'll just light that again, please. Ignite? Oh, where's the ignite button gone? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Then I go up to here. Craft items. I want some more roast meat, please. Yes. A. And I go with that one, please. Lovely. Is that cooking? I haven't got the little progressy thing over there now to say how long it's taken, have I? Oh, there we are. Roast meat in progress. 23 seconds. Make mesh makeshift caplet. What's a caplet? Makeshift caplet. I guess it's in the building somewhere. That's... 
Camplet. Is it the Camplet? I don't know. Capelet. Capelet. Well, what the fudge is a Capelet? And what menu do I find it under? Um... Yeah, I, I don't know, people. I don't know whether this is going to be the game for me. It's... Oh, here we go. There it is. It'd be nice if it said... Oh, it does say craft. It does say craft. So I need to go under the craft menu. Okay. All right. Craft that, then. There we are. Okay. Acquire healing salve. Acquire roasted meat. I'm fairly sure I've just roasted a load of freaking meat, mate. Collect items. Okay. I'm sure I roasted three of them. I'm sure it said times three. Did it not? Okay. Um. Oh, now it says times two. Well, why can't I... How do I change the quantity, mate? How do I change the quantity? It's got It's got directions there, but it doesn't... I don't know how to change the quantity. Um... I'm trying my best to. So I guess we've got to do them one at a time. Okay. Why then? No, A. A. I'm going to do that again. Okay. Is that now doing two? No, it's still doing one. Can I do another one at the same time? Would it cancel what I'm doing? Yeah. Uh, do that again. Did I just cancel it? Oh. Who freaking knows what I'm doing, people? If you could see my face right now, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sort of, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's roasting. I guess I'm just impatient, people. Oh no. Die! Squirrel monkey! Where'd he go? Did he just teleport into oblivion? I guess he did. Brilliant! I wanted to harvest him. I don't know where he freaking went off to. And I don't know whether I'm supposed to eat this meat or just hold it in my hands. He's, oh, he's back again! You and your teleporting ways of evil! Okay, right. I didn't think they would come close to your camp, you know? Oh, there's healing salve. All right, well, we create that then, I guess. Yeah, do it, do it. Autofill. Where's the autofill button? That. There we are. Craft. Okay, we'll just wait for it to do its thing. And then, can I do it again? Autofill. X. Yes, I can. Do it again. I think I've just got to be more patient. And there is a time. When... Yeah, okay. So that yellow bar also goes up as well as it's doing it. There we are. Cool. Well, I think I've got all the healing salve that I need. Oh, no, no, go back in. White's still alight, mate. Go over to there. Yeah, we want to do that too. And I want to hit that up. Uh, yeah, autofill. And A. Yeah, just, just cook it. Uh, y. There's a lot of button presses to do a single action. I don't understand what the difference between is prey meat and predator meat. I guess the prey meat are those little rats and the predator meat are the jumping kangaroos, but meat's meat, isn't it? I don't know. Hopefully it's still going to count as that I've required roast meat. I mean, it says roast Yeah, there we go. Acquire essence dust. Oh, fudge off, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Stop attacking me. When I didn't want you guys, I couldn't find you. And now you're just leaping at me. Gibbs. All right. Well, let's see if I can just um, break something down. So if I go into crafting, makeshift items, if I just make myself, I don't know, what can I make? Have I run out of plant fibre for everything right now? I freaking have, haven't I? Righto. Um... I'm going to eat this meat. Nothing's telling me that I'm not allowed. There we are. That stayed off a bit of hunger, didn't it? I'm going to go go to town on this stuff. There we are. I'm going to eat that as well. Alright. Okay, well, it looks like I've got no problem in staying alive now. Let's go grab all this down here. I think that might be plant fibre. 
And I think I've got a sickle on me. Let's use that. Maybe it might give us more resources using this. Or else what's the point in having it, right? There we go. We're getting loads of plant fibre now. Oh, run out of stamina now to pick that up. Okay. I'm not too sure which one my stamina gauge is then. Because I can't see a bar that's run out to show my... Oh, that ye that yellow one in the centre of the screen right below me, yeah. See, that uses no stamina, but I don't get as much. I use that, I get loads. Alright, okay. I think we've got a load of plant fibre now. What I'm thinking is if I craft like a load of sickles or a load of axes, then hopefully I might be able to break these down into essence. Okay, come on. Yep, go, go, go. Okay, I don't know why I needed to be back here. I obviously don't. All right, so let's go into here. If I just... Let's just make another one of those. We'll craft that, shall we? So now I should have a second one inside my inventory. So if I go to my inventory... I should have another one in here now, somewhere. There we go. Uh, if I press Y on options, I can hit Extract, which is A now. Extract. And that should give me 20 essences. There we go. Alright. Brilliant. I think I actually just broke down both of them, though. <laughs> ah. Okay. Use essences to dust a... Okay, items required. Items repaired. Okay, so now I can repair an item, can I? So if I go back to my inventory, I have been using this sickle quite a lot. Ah, the knife. Let's go repair the knife. How do I actually get to the knife? Oh, heck. There we are. Okay, repair all. Let's just hit repair all then. Oh, uh, don't I? I just want to repair the knife. Give me the options. Repair. There we are. And Puck's reappeared! Okay. Right, here we go. Let's speak to Puck. You've stolen life to preserve your own. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. Cool. Now, I've led you about around. Through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar. And forthwith, a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so too, Nightingale. Lovely, Chumbly. I have heard, though, that Nightingale actually isn't in-game at early access or release. There is like a player hub, a hub zone that you can get to. But no, not Nightingale, not as yet. First you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. Ah, no need for words, only thought. Um, um, the desert has got less creatures that attack you. The swamp has got pretty easy creatures to kill, like those jumping kangaroos, they're no problem. The forest has got wolves, and I hate wolves, and also the boars attack you in frickin' herds. I'm gonna go for swamp. I'm gonna go for swamp. I think that might be the, the best option. of the fen. Yes, please. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. Show no mercy. Are we the good guys? I, th I think we are. That doesn't sound very lovely. Is this guy trying to murder me right now? Take that with a sickle to the freaking chops, mate. And that. Yeah, I'm going to sickle you to death. That's what you get. That's what you get. Okay. All right. We could do with being able to make some better knives and things, I think, people. And I, I, I would like a bow, an arrow, maybe. But then we're probably going to have to craft every individual arrow, and that's probably going to take a lifetime and a half. Yeah, I think for survival crafting games, this is probably next level for me, you know? But anyway, I'll give you my synopsis in a bit, because now we've been playing for quite a while, and we've seen all these different byways. Okay, venture into an abeyance realm. Okay, where have we got to go to? Let's have a look at the old map, shall we? 
We've got to head all the way over here again, northwesterly. Right. Well, let's um, let's put a let's put a marker on here, shall we? I'm holding R. Okay. And I'll stick that one there. There we are. So we're heading that way. Let's go. Let's go. The only thing I would say about this swamp world is it's constantly raining. So you definitely need a shelter inside of the swamp area. Yeah, this is all things to weigh up, isn't it? The biome really does sort of... It comes down to personal choice. Let me know in the comments, which biome do you think you're going to start in people inside of the viewers? Are you going to be a realms walker of swamp, realms walker of desert, or realms walker of forest? Okay. Take this, you deadly kangaroo. Yeah, I got you mid freaking jump there, didn't I? Oh, great. I've run out of stamina for my stabbiness. Come on, then. Come on, then. I don't know which button blocks. Oh, I've got a punch, though. Ha! Punch you in the head. And then stab you. There you go. I can do combos. Oh, I guess that would be good for dual wielding. Don't think of it that way. I'll pick all this stuff up anyway. We'll have it. We'll freaking have it. It is a bit finicky picking stuff up. I... I'm going to say it again. I think this game has been massively designed towards keyboard and mouse players and not the old joypad. I don't know why, but if I'm playing on keyboard and mouse, I often it feels like it's just an extension of work, you know. I grew up in the days of the Atari 2600. And there we are. So, uh, well, let's jump up here then. Uh, actually, we, we need to go back down there. Oh, great. There's another one of those evil kangaroos around. X. So, yeah... I just associate joypads with with gaming, you know? Open portal, there we are. An abeyance card. Remain vigilant while the realms align. Okay. Oh yeah, look, we've got a release hope echo there. What's this? So these are the fabled realms I've heard so much of that I've spent years studying. Never once have I set foot here. It's stunning in its beauty. Hold on. Ah! I was reading! Reading! Dang you! Dang you all to Hades! Back to Hades with you! I bet... Oh, fudge this. Run away! Run away! Live another day! It didn't frickin'... My portal didn't do anything! Ah, some biscuits. We're gonna hide. Hopefully my portal will eat them alive. It's not gonna eat them alive. But we can pick up whatever they've dropped. Take this, you! Scally rag, yes, you cretinous herb. Okay, where did all the other loot go? It despawned. Damn it! Oh, now the portal opens. There we go. I look like a right tit. Brilliant. We're going in then. Cool, yeah. Yes. Path forward is winding and full of terrors. Oh, like the night. Cool. Save yourself. Survive the realms and rebuild all that has been lost. I will try my best. Okay, so I guess that's the whole intro. We've done all three realms. Lovely. Okay, people, so now this says welcome home. I just got a little reward or whatever. But this is my abeyance card. Play this card to seek a realm of minimal danger, suitable for the construction of an estate. Not even Nightingale's oldest magicums have been able to trace the origins of this card. The image imprinted upon the paper brings intense loneliness to mind. Oh, poor Puck. All right, okay, well, there we go. I chose the forest realm, and this is going to be my home zone, people. And we've got good old Puck that's reappeared here. But I think we'll see what Puck has to say next episode. And I'll venture forth into this. And we're trying to start building an estate out here, people. So, yeah, let's um, let's just exit out of here then for now. Let's go to the old system. And let's um, quit game. And let's uh, quit out to desktop. There we go. Okay, now you get to see me. There you go, there I am. Hopefully everything's running smoothly. Hopefully my lips are synced with the audio now that I've closed the game. But yeah, how am I feeling so far with this? Now, I'm, I'm imagining my, my thoughts and feelings on this game are going to evolve as I get better at it. But at the moment, I'd say it's quite cumbersome using my Xbox joypad, I have to say. And I think this game is mainly made for keyboard and mouse. Now, I have got a short-form keyboard that I could have here. 
and I could use the mouse. The only thing is it's in close proximity to my mic and I think you're going to hear every single little click and every single little click. Uh, and I don't think you want to hear all that clickety clackety stuff going on. So I don't think it's the best setup for me to actually stream with. I mean, I know the way I should play is keyboard and mouse. And if you are playing out there, I'd suggest that's the way that you play. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a, it's a good enough game. And the only thing I'm finding at the moment is the controls are a little bit... They're, they're not responding in the time presses that I do. And when you're up against either bad guys or you're trying to stave off hunger and not die, you can get a little bit panicked and go past what you want and things like that. And the menu system is a little bit finicky. It's a little bit off. It feels a bit janky still. It feels like it still needs a little bit of finite polish, which I think is going to come in time. So I don't think it's a major gripe. What is a major gripe for me is the amount of busy work. The amount of busy work that goes into foresting and, and harvesting things. And things not being signposted. It's like when it says plant fibre. It'd be nice if it showed actual images of what plant fibre looks like. So you know what you're looking for at the very least or something like that. Or even if you've harvested plant fibre the first time. Then it shows you a picture of what plant fibre looks like in the world. There's little things that they could do to bring this on a bit. Yeah, the first time you harvest something. Then it gives you the picture in your catalogue or something. I don't know. It just feels a little bit too janky and i know they've tried to over engineer it where you know there's two types of meat there's two different types of something else but that's going to get to the point where I'm, I'm fairly sure it's going to be frustrating i'm going to go out and harvest the things that i think i want but no i need another variant at some stage as this crafting goes forwards i think that's going to become an element i think this is too complex a survival game for me i was hoping more for an exploration game being that it's such a beautiful game to look at I just wanted to do the exploration side. If there's ever some sort of god code in this to become just a ghost in Nightingale, so you haven't got no bloody bars, and I'm just walking around as a spirit version of a human or something, it'd be nice if other players can see me. But at the same time, I would just like to observe this game and have a look what it's got. Find all the realm cards, build out different portals, still be able to build stuff. I just don't want no health bars or anything like that. I would like a more relaxing sort of affair where I can just focus on doing the thing that I want to do rather than having to nurse a load of different bars. But that's not the game. That's not what this game is. This game is about crafting and survival. I like the crafting. I like the exploration. I don't like the survival so much. If you took out the survival mechanic, so I'm not worried about, oh, I've got to keep this bar, I've got to get it, and I don't feel so rushed, I'd feel a lot more relaxed. It's just me personally. And the fact that there's three bars to look after, not just one or two, freaking three of them, that, that to me is a little bit too much sort of busy work. Is what I'm, that's, my, that's my feeling at the moment. I'm hoping after I've built my homestead and I get more well rested and I'm getting better at doing recipes, maybe it might not be so much of a focus. After you get past the point where you've got to look after those bars as much because your homestead is doing it for you, Maybe I might start enjoying it a little bit more. But right now, I mean, I guess the tutorial's got to pull you in, make you learn all the mechanics. Maybe I need to be a bit more patient with it and evolve and grow with this game. So yeah, I I'm going to carry on with it. But what I would say is my PC not being up to standard is a big factor too. Because this game looks so beautiful if you're on a high-end PC, and at the moment mine looks like I've smeared Vaseline in my eyes, um, I think that's probably taken away from some of the beauty and enjoyment that I could be having with this, and also the fact that you've got these beautiful vistas. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get into that at uh, some other point, people. But I am, I am liking it. Don't get me wrong, I'm liking it, but I wouldn't say I'm loving it. I'm liking it, not loving it. As soon as I picked up Power World and played it for like the first half an hour, I was like, yes, this is freaking awesome. I know it. I, it's easy. This is this is good. I'm comfortable with this. I can relax. And there's also a challenge there. This game, it's got a challenge, but it's overly challenging, not because of the world or what you're going up against. It's challenging because of the controls, because of the UI, and because of the learning curve in what you need to craft and how you go about crafting it. And that the game's UI and tutorial isn't the best at giving you what you need to do. Is in my opinion, but I was in this early access and it's moved on leaps and bounds from where it was originally. Originally, it would say, Yeah, you need to craft a realm card, and you'd be like, Okay, what do I need? And it would say, You need ink, but it wouldn't say what you needed to get to kill or do to get the ink. It was far less evolved than it is now, it has evolved massively since then, and um, yeah. 
I'd imagine the devs know exactly what they're doing. But I was in the Discord all the time asking questions. How do I find this type of this type of type of ore? How do I get this? How do I get that? And everybody came back to me with answers saying, yeah, that was actually quite difficult to understand or do with the first time I did it. Yeah. And I know that there's been a lot of polish and a lot of that has been brought into fruition now and it, it's great. But you saw how hard I've found it to find plant fibre inside of the desert realm as an example in today's episode. Anyway, I think I've rabbited on enough. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. We'll see you for the next episode where I start to build myself a little homestead. I'm thinking of quite a lovely little shed with a nice view of the swamp. Yeah, there we go. Until then, bye-bye.